Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Paris might be heaving with visitors thanks to the Olympics, but there's one little spot that is always full of tourists. Over the course of a year, more than 15,000 descend on this quiet residential square in the Sorbonne district of the city. This picturesque spot, with its babbling fountain, leafy surrounds and quaint cobbled streets, is not home to any major French landmarks, nor will you find it in any of the usual guidebooks. Instead, on the ground floor of a grand stucco-fronted building, sandwiched between a corporate office and a boulangerie, there's a small, dimly lit restaurant with a distinctive red awning, distinctive, that is, if you watch the Netflix series Emily in Paris. Fans will recognize it as Les Du Compères, later renamed L'Esprit de Gigi, the restaurant where the love interest of starlet Emily Cooper, played by British-slash-American actress Lily Collins, works. Known by swooning viewers as the hot chef, Gabriel, French actor Lucas Bravo, goes on to take over the business, and uses his culinary flair to win Emily's heart. In the tongue-in-cheek rom-com, which charts the chic Parisian adventures of a hapless young marketing executive, the restaurant, real name Terra Nera, forms the backdrop to cozy tete-a-tetes, corporate dinners, and blossoming romance. It is here that Emily tries her first steak tartare, and promptly sends it back for being too rare, here that she seals her first successful French business deal, and here that she and Gabriel share a steamy, long-awaited first kiss. Off-screen, on a drizzly weekday, no such romance is apparent. The usually peaceful square is filled with delivery vans, cyclists, and stern-faced commuters. As gray clouds scud overhead, a beeping bin lorry pulls up, blocking the restaurant from view. Even this doesn't dissuade the crowds of fans who have been gathering since early morning. Wielding smartphones and selfie sticks, wearing branded Emily t-shirts and candy pink berets, they pout, pose into their cameras. All are vying to get the perfect picture for their social media and making videos that will be the envy of their friends back home. They come from all over Vyong Shanghai, Sydney, Stockholm, Sao Paulo, and represent just a fraction of the series' sprawling global fanbase. Emily in Paris is the most popular show ever on Netflix, with millions of viewers in 93 countries worldwide. Watching through the window with a benevolent, and by now, somewhat jaded, smile is Valerio Abate, 40, the owner of Terra Nera. A shy Sicilian, with a salt and pepper beard who belies his youth, Valerio is used to the scrum outside his restaurant. It has happened every day, from the first moment we appeared in the series, he says. They queue up outside for pictures, some of them come inside to eat, or to take a selfie with me. He never dreamed his humble establishment, which, much to the chagrin of many fans, specializes in Italian food, not French, would end up becoming so well known, still less that it would be besieged daily by Emilyites from around the world. Valerio has never given a media interview before, preferring to hover behind the scenes, welcoming patrons and ensuring locals, many of whom still visit every lunchtime for a plate of homemade linguine and a glass of wine, are left to eat undisturbed. But ahead of the fourth series of Emily in Paris, which premieres on Thursday, he's agreed to speak exclusively to the mail, letting me spend a day at the most Instagrammed restaurant in the city. Inside, with its red walls, retro leather banquettes and wooden tables, Terra Nera looks just like it does on screen. It was a butcher's shop, which opened in 1967, before Valerio's family bought it and turned it into a restaurant in 1978. The date is emblazoned on the awning, along with the words Chef Gabriel, a nod to its recent fame. So many women come by asking if he really works here, he says. They are disappointed when I tell them no. Indeed, when the doors open at midday, young Brazilian fans are already taking photographs outside. One is toting a bag printed with a picture of the Mona Lisa, face obscured by the words Emily in Paris, the preferred idol of the Netflix generation. As customers file inside, several more appear, some snapping pictures from across the road, others venture closer to peruse the menu. Today's specials include risotto with mushrooms and truffle, 22 pounds, and pasta in tom.